micro program control circuit design by Wilkie's control circuit design. So, this is the topic for this particular session. So, Wilkie's control design the circuit has been drawn here and the explanation has been done here. So, let me discuss one by one. So, here we are having CMAR the full form of CMAR CMAR means control memory address register. I think you got the issue control memory address register is the full form of CMAR. At first instruction will be coming here I have considered only the 3 bit instruction to make the demonstration simple enough. The instruction will be coming from the instruction register. So, that is why I have written IR. What is instruction register? Instruction register is that register which will hold the copy or the replica of the current instruction in execution. So, that is known as the instruction register. So, current instruction will be coming to this CMAR control memory address register and that will be going to this decoder. So, depending upon the instructions bit combination one of the output lines will get enabled by the decoder circuit. So, depending upon the enabled output line the corresponding control signal will get generated. Here we are having I have written 8 control signals C0 to C7 and respective control signals will get generated. I shall explain each and everything in, the, in, in this particular board work. So, for the timing I am just doing. So, the control signals will get generated and this is known as the return address and this return address will be coming to the CMAR and that address will be decoded another control line will get another horizontal line will get selected and respective control signals will get generated and in this way the thing will take place until it, it reaches to the last line that is the 7111 which indicates that load the next instruction from the instruction register to the CMAR. So, in this way the process will be repeated. Actually what is happening whenever an instruction is getting executed it is producing control signals in different time intervals. I, I, I in my earlier videos I have shown, I have shown you that R1 is equal to R1 plus R2 I did this one. So, there I have shown you that at different time intervals different control signals are getting generated. So, it is nothing but like a micro instructions are getting generated. So, for each and every instruction a set of micro instructions are getting generated or micro instructions are getting generated and executed as if it is a micro program. So, that is why it is called micro program controlled. So, instruction will be coming from IR it will get decoded the control signals will get generated this is the return address that will be going there again that will be decoded another set of control signals will be produced return address will be there in this way the process will be repeated until it reaches to the last line that is 111 that is the seventh line it will reach and here this particular indic this indication is that please load the next instruction from the IR because the first or the earlier micro program has got executed totally. So, let me explain this one in this particular board work. So, let us suppose the instruction whatever we are getting is 0 0 0 I am I have taken this one ok. So, let us suppose the instruction register is supplying the instruction which is having the bit combination 0 0 0 ok. So, 0 0 0 if, if 0 0 0 comes here then this line will get enabled done good. So, what are the control signals are, are getting generated C 0 here see there is no junction point here the points are got uh, connected. So, this line vertical lines are connected. So, what are the control signals are getting generated C 0 and then please tell me C 4 and then C 6 and then C 7. So, these control signals are getting generated. What is the return address in that case? What is the return address? The return address is 0 0 1 ok. Let me write this one as 0 0 1 because the return address is 0 0 1. Okay, so, the return address is 0 0 1. So, 0 0 1 will come down. So, 0 0 1 will produce the control signals look at the diagram. So, that is my C 1 and C 3. So, C 1 and C 3 will get generated what is the return address let me check return address is 0 1 0. So, return address is 0 1 0. So, we have discussed up to this 
and then this 0 1 0 will come down here so 0 1 0 will produce the control signals like your C2 and C4 C2 and C4 so C2 and C4 have uh, they have got generated what is the return address in that case what is the line that is my 0 1 0 so 0 1 0 is, will produce C2 and C4 return address is 0 1 1 so return address is 0 1 1 so the next in, uh, address will be 0 1 1 so 0 1 1 will come down here it will produce the control signals like C0, C3, C5 and C6. So C0, C3, C5 and C6. And here there is one box. And it is, it is getting guided by the condition bit from the CPU. Sometimes we have say, say jump 0, jump not 0, jump carry, jump not carry. So the condition bit will be coming from the CPU. And that will decide what will be the next instruction or what is the next micro instruction is getting carried out. So, there is a condition bit from the CPU will be coming. So, when this particular condition bit from the CPU is true, I have written this and when this condition bit from the CPU is false, I have written this. So, let me go for the true at first. So, now when the condition bit from uh, for here is true, return at this is 110. Look at here, return at this is 110. So, 110 will be coming down. So, I have written this one. If true, then return address will be 110. So, 110 will be now traced. Respective control signals you can easily check. I am not going for each and every time. So, respective control signals will get generated. And for 110, what is the return address? 111. So, 111. So, next instruction will be coming from 111. So, when the next instruction will be coming from 111, then respective control signals will get generated. What are they? C0, C4. C5, C7, so they will get generated and it will indicate that it is the end of the microprogram. Please take the next instruction from the instruction register for next microprogram. But if the condition is false, then the return address will be 100. So if the condition is false, then the return address will be 100. So next instruction will be 100. Again, you are executing. Here I am having finding C0 and C7. So, C0 and C7, return address is 101, return address is 101. So, control will be coming to 101. Control signals are getting generated. How many of them? Three of them. So, three control signals have got generated. What is the return address then? 111. So, 111 will be coming and then 111 will be coming. Same set of control signals will get generated and it will indicate that end of the micro program. So, please load the next instruction from the instruction register to execute the next micro program. So, in this way, Wilkie's controlled circuit design will work in this particular fashion. So, now for the sake of simplicity, I am just telling where you are supposed to give these dots. You might be finding that it is very difficult to remember all these connections and all. I am just making it simple enough. So, whatever you are putting these dots, that is up to you. Accordingly, you should write them. And just remember the written addresses are 1, 2, 3, 6, 4, 5, 7, 7, 7. If you can remember this only sequence, you can easily produce the same circuit in your exam copy. So, I think you can easily handle this circuit and go for the explanation. So, I told you that control circuit design can be done in two different ways. One is the microprogram controlled another one is the hardware control. So, hardware control circuit I am going to discuss in my next videos. Please watch them. Thanks for watching for this one.